everybody. Thank you for checking out the video. We are currently on day three of our Medford project, but by the time you see this, we will have completed, obviously. So, um, we get a lot of these staircase refinishes. Uh, customers seem to love them, and for that reason, we get a lot of them, obviously. We must be doing something right. Um, but, please, check out the time lapse, and I hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, so basically what are we looking at here? Well, what you're looking at is drop cloths, because we're getting ready to actually sand, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, as you see here, we already taped off. Now, a lot of people have asked me, you know, why do you tape? Why do you take the time to tape? You guys are supposed to be professional, but why do you tape? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we get great results with it. Um, yes, we are professional enough not to use tape, and we quite often don't use tape. But we get the best results for what we're looking for by taking the time to tape. If it turns out that what you're getting as your return product is excellent and it's worth your time to do it, then by all means do it. Um, we get a pencil thin line on all of our transitions. At all the different planes, we always get a perfect line. And this is why we do what we do. And we've done so many of these that honestly, this is the best result possible for how we do these without taking the railing and spindles apart. So what you're looking at here is basically us doing our scuffing process or the sanding, if you will. Um, what we do in our situation whenever we're doing these spindle, stair rails, uh, risers, we will scuff or sand down to the last layer of, in this case, polyurethane, which becomes basically our primer coat. It cuts out a whole step of priming. Uh, we've learned this firsthand the hard way by basically sanding a lot of open grain woods. And if anybody's ever done this before, you know that these open grains just drink and drink and drink, and you can end up doing five, six coats before you get a product that you're actually happy with. Uh, we usually start with an 80, working our way to a 220. Um, it's very tactile. It's, you can look at it, but you almost got to feel and know when you're done by doing that. And we've done this so many times that usually by touching, feeling, observing the grain, we know when it's time to actually stop and when we can actually proceed forward with our first coat of paint. Now what you're seeing us do here is what's called the dry roll technique. Um, if you don't know what the dry roll technique is, check it out on YouTube. But basically to sum it up, it consists of taking your brush and brushing on your surface and using, in our case, a 4 inch 3 8 nap roller and actually rolling in our brush strokes, which simulates a spray coat. Now the first coat's going to be very see-through. Okay, you're going to see grain texture, but you're going for the texture on the first coat. Um, it, gives you an unbelievable finish if you actually have the patience to do it. And in this case, we are being paid to have the patience to do it. And uh, it always turns out great. Uh, the, the finished result looks phenomenal, but you gotta have patience. The one key thing is you lose any brush strokes or roller marks, and that is huge. That is everything when it comes to getting a perfect finish.
that is what makes it worth it. When it's all said and done and you can actually see the finished product from the before to the after, I mean, it gives you a charge as a contractor and somebody in this industry, like that is everything. The reveal is everything. It's, it's everything you work forward towards throughout the entire project. And uh, the homeowners are awesome. They were so nice. The, the dogs, everything about this house was awesome. We just had a good time. It was actually a pleasure coming to work and that's pretty much how it should be. Um, just, it was beautiful. Just this, stair, this whole staircase is beautiful. I mean, it's a very beautiful staircase and we took something that was already beautiful and made it that much nicer and that is a win any way you slice it.